What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones, represent Physiques of Greatness. And this right here is going to be a quick Saturday video. Been a while since I posted a video on a Saturday. Went to the gym yesterday, met up with Sandra. We had an epic workout. And I introduced her to one of my uh, new supersets for upper mid back. And I decided, why not give y'all a quick video showing you this superset. And maybe you can go to the gym and give it a try and give me some feedback. As you may or may not know, back is one of my favorite body parts. But I'm not complacent. And I always find little ways to improve my physique. Uh, I really want to get a little more thickness and detail in my upper mid back. Which is why I'm doing strict upper back rows. Now one thing about weak points is you need to understand that if your muscles have a weak point, it's weak for a reason. And the first thing you need may want to do is maybe consider increasing volume in that weak point. For example, if you got weak ass biceps and you're only doing three sets per exercise, you may want to graduate to maybe four or five sets per exercise. Or it could be your fucking form. Um, you need to do exercises or change your technique to the point where you take out any kind of advantages. For an example, you know, I showed y'all this uh, many times on the channel. You know, um, when you do seated uh, dumbbell curls, it's a lot more challenging than doing it standing up. You know, you can curl maybe 50 or 60 pounds standing, but you can only curl maybe 20% less than that sitting. You know, for an example, preacher curls, you're going to have your shoulders in a fixed position. You can't use any swinging or any body momentum. All the weight you're curling is going to be strictly biceps involved. So little techniques like that, you know, is going to help bring up weak points and back is no different. Now, as you see in this video right here, I have my back on an inclined bench. I have it set as low as I can get it and I have my chest on there. All right. Now, check it out. There's no swinging, no jerking for my body because my body's in a fixed position, meaning everything I'm able to use is going to be strictly going towards my back. And of course, a little bit of biceps, but you get the point. There's no swinging whatsoever. And each arm is going to work independently because I'm using dumbbells and I'm not using a fucking T-bar that's loaded with plates. And then we immediately, as soon as we hit failure, we go into the traditional uh, dumbbell rowing. Notice how my lower back is swinging up and down. I am cheating, however, I reach failure doing it strictly, and then I reach failure again doing it cheating. Most people do all their rowing just like that, cheating with their lower back, which is why you may notice you're lagging. Now, you can do it stricter, however, why not just do it Laying your body on top of something stable and know for a fact you're not cheating because you can cheat for years and not even know you're cheating, especially if you don't record yourself like I do. So here it is once again. Go to failure about 8 to 12 good reps with your chest leaning on the pad and then go to failure again, you know, cheating or standing up or however you want to do it. But make sure you get quality reps first. This right here is a clip from the workout we did yesterday. Tune in Monday morning if you want to see the whole back video. Uh, you know you won't be disappointed. You know I always give y'all good videos. And I post at least three a week on this channel. And two a week on Beast Mode Training Camp channel. As always, thank y'all so much for supporting me. Your support means the world. And I will see y'all Monday for the video. Let me know what y'all think below after you give it a try.